I do want to say this about, um, like, the... Because I had a fascination for vampires, okay? Vampires. The Vampire Diaries. Especially the Vampire Diaries. And so, what I can say, right, about the energies of a vampire is that when we think about a vampire and the what it means to what I can do like as far as like to teach you something spiritual about vampires you know vampires in film are usually seen as those characters that drink blood and um you know they're seen as very demonic and the thing about vampires you know or what most uh beings that are enlightened call energy vampires are people that they could even be people that are in your family they're just people that are energy drainers they can be um um the word that was coming up was narcissistic but just to say like energy drainer some people they aren't aware that they are doing it as much as they are doing it. And it's because they are unconsciously doing it, but their unconsciousness of them doing it is to help you so that you can, when you do realize that it's happening from that person, it's, it's just because they, they, that's how they have been conditioned to survive and they have been conditioned to be that way. Some um, ways that people like are like energy siphons is that they re- they s- repeatedly speak about certain cycles that they've had in life or bring up certain relationships. Like those friends that bring up their relationship about their man and say, oh, that, that man doing this and that. And child, get and I'm trying to tell you, and it's just the same repeated story that you've heard and heard and heard, and you've tried to help uh, speak through some of these issues with them, and they just keep going back. But every time they come around you, they're speaking about this same story, and it's just uh, draining to even hear about it, you know. Or, you know, it's just sometimes they can be energetically depleting stories and things like that and that's how you know there's this such thing as energy vampires now as far as like the folk folklore and vampires and wearing um garlic and stuff like that and them being able to you know actually drink blood and to survive and you know they've said that those vampires that were actually seen as like actual vampires actually would smile so they they would smile when they um even at their at their death and they had like these very like all of their teeth were pointy it wasn't just the canine the canine teeth that were uh, like pointy it would say that they were all like pointy like all like a not exactly like a shark but like like a, like all they were all sharp you know and um yeah and that's how they would uh be youthful <laughs> but there is a such thing as energy vampires they just uh kind of deplete your energy and a lot of times what i've realized is sometimes you have to become aware of how to and i seen this earlier about how to um not allow certain people to have access to you. But if you're in an experience that that person has, that person, you, you have no choice but them having access to you. Maybe you're meant to, you, you are, maybe you are going to at some time step into a experience where there are going to be many people that are going to have access to you even with them having bad energy and you're going to learn how to transmute their energy or how to be around them and not allow them to siphon your energy and put up boundaries because sometimes you have to be like hold up bitch like you just your energy is is like a lot like calm down 
So, yeah. But speaking of the Vampire Diaries, right? Because they did uh, have the, the... I purchased the entire set of the seasons and things like that. And what I can say is that it was... It was structured so well. It was a show... And this is what I do want to say about this because they have a certain thing called a hero, the heroine of the show or like the leading. And it wasn't that like Elena was just like the leading character, but she was, you know what I'm saying? And originally, if you didn't know this, um, Elena was supposed to be um, casted as a blonde female actress. But, um, you know, they chose Elena who also played Catherine, who also played, uh, what was the other, uh, it's not Ketsia, but the, the other, um, the other, like, old, 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 um, you know, I'm speaking about, and she was screaming in the back of the trunk, the other doppelganger, right? Anyway. Uh, and we know that Elena and Stefan and all of the Elena and Stefans and uh, they they were like, you know, twins. They were considered like in every lifetime meant to be together, right? But when we speak about the show of Vampire Diaries, it was just that show that was meant to... I, it it could have definitely gone for a very long like it could have continued for a very long time. It was just that show that just um meant to you know be healing for a lot of people, and even some of the writers were speaking about it um as a way of you know getting through their own um experiences of grief and things like that through their writing process of the show, The Vampire Diaries. And what I, I often have these ideas of what could be what could be like the uh show for the for it to just come back. For it for it to just be, you know, reignited and started again. And I'm not sure if what they say say is true about um uh, Nina and Ian and but I have seen photos of Nina and uh, Nikki together so it can't be you know that much of that much of an issue and plus they both have moved on into their respectable relationships but I wonder would they be able to you know be on set again and you know, the show to go again. But I know that also even Bonnie said something about, you know, not Bonnie, but uh, Kat Graham, you know, spoke about not, you know, not wanting to do it again. It's been a lot of people that have spoken about not wanting to do it again. But I think that if Nina Dobrev was to say that she wanted to do the show again, it could definitely be reignited like that. Girl, get that bag, get that money. And plus, we love the show. Okay? We love the show. Cat Graham, I know that they, I think with Bonnie's character, right? And we can speak about witchy stuff too. You know, uh, psychic mediums are usually, uh, they usually identify with, that's the start of being, uh, you know, psych or a witchy or whatever, or woo-woo, whatever. But I think that the, a lot of times the reason that Bonnie's character was, um, you know, uh, killed over and over again, you know, in the show is because witches and divine feminine energy itself goes through these certain deaths of old self to become the new versions of themselves. And it's like empowering. So I think that Bonnie had to somewhat go through those certain experiences. But, um, you know, speaking about um, 
the show was just structured so well. I'm sure that there were a lot of things that went on, you know, went on on set that, um, but like I said again, if Nina was to, to openly say that she would be open to playing her character again, and even, this is what I was going to say, if there was an issue with, with her and, and, um, in some summer holder holder or you know his last name they could structure it around like because it was said i think in legacies that um uh elena and um damon had a child right what if, because I don't think that the child was ever like a, a featured character in uh, the Salvatore boarding uh, legacies. I don't think that the child was like in legacies. But if they could shut it around the child having some type of um thing where it was like an imbalance of the nature of her and Stefan, like, like say if, say if the child was having some type of issue, um, um, with being alive because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't Elena and Stefan's child and they somehow had to figure out how to, uh, bring Stefan back to life. So, that way, Bonnie, you know, they had to get the gang back together. And somehow, they could bring all the, the characters that were, you know, on the other side, started coming back. So, but, you know, during this time, of course, uh, you know, that way, um, Enzo came back and Catherine came back. But let's say... For them to get to the other side, this time Damon was stuck with Catherine. But let's say they didn't lead with they didn't lead with filming Catherine as much because they're on the other side, and so that could be like the third season, the third season now. So that way she could have a break from Ian, Nina, and Ian wouldn't have to be like together, you know. Also with. Nina's new relationship, I think that she would kind of be like, nah, you know, I ain't gonna do that. I mean, I mean, she in a new relationship. She ain't trying, she ain't trying to do nothing with Ian like them. She ain't trying to do all that. She, her new relationship. But girl, listen, okay? Listen. This way in this, this, this new, the, the sprouting up of it, right? You could just be with Stefan. It could be Elena and Stefan. And, um, uh, Damon, I'm not sure what your character going to do right now because you would be on the other side because you, you had to go get your brother from the other side. And then you just got trapped over there again, like you did the last time. But no, we wouldn't do anything like that. It just would be something like along the lines of, let's say that she was just having these dreams that were bringing her into wanting um, Stephanie again, and her child was probably wondering, well, why doesn't she want, want daddy anymore? And daddy is, uh, Damon. And just let's say that the universe is bringing her and Stephanie back together. And, you know, Catherine, let's say that Catherine was stuck on the other side because nobody would let her back to, you know, this side. And, oh. Let's say Elena and Damon started having issues because it was just something about the universe bringing Stefan and her back together. And so, you know, it was just bridging this, like, you know, cooking up some type of separation where she, you know, she started back wanting Stefan. Like, the universe started working against the, you know... And let's just say that Stefan's blood was the only thing that could save, could save the child or something like that. It's something that could work. It's something that could work. <laughs> yeah, I think of every type of way that I could bring the show back. 
it's something. I thought I thought about the like this real good this real good plot twist, but I couldn't remember everything that I that I thought about because I was just like, oh, it ain't gonna happen. But I think if we had enough people on board, you know, speaking about it and stuff like that, it could work. And I know that Elena and like, of course, they probably wouldn't want to just be like lovey dovey in a in a show together. But oh, you know, um, Elena did do a um, movie on you know that was on Netflix, and she was married to other people. So I don't think it would be too hard, too bad of an issue. But I think that like with the heroines of certain shows, like I think maybe they just get tired of you know being only known for certain roles but it's just like girl let's be honest now you you played the you played the f out of um elena catherine and i keep going to call her katsia but it isn't katsia it's the other character she played like three four characters in in the show and while while they're going on the other side to get Stefan back right you know this way, this way, um, the originals could come back. Hope could have her father. Yeah, Hope could have her father, her mother. But the thing is, we gotta, we gotta see how, um, Bonnie, Bonnie needs, you know, some, some more witchy power. Y'all want to call, call me? I can be like the cousin, and like that could be another gay character, and I could star in it like all the time. Right, so you know, boom, you know, she she been meeting with her families, her family member, and then she got like her cousin, her sassy cousin, that's really powerful also, and you know, he's connected to uh, what's the, what's the uh, the man that uh, I want to call him Kane, but it's like something is it Kane? He's like he was portrayed as Lucifer, or whatever. And, you know, he's like the son of him, but Bonnie and him is cousins. And I could just be that cousin and just be real powerful. And then, you know, I oh, I, th- I remember what it was, but it's just a lot. It's a lot of details, right? But I think that it could definitely work. Or uh, let's say that Bonnie had, Bonnie's mom had a child and she didn't know that she had like a brother that, um, like was passed on to the other side, like you know, was a, was a. Let's say that uh, Bonnie had a brother, like a twin, that was like a, uh, you know, and the twin, you know, didn't or a child or child before there was a child before Bonnie, so she had like an older brother. But let's just say on the other side, this child grew up into an adult. And yo, and so he started contacting her, which let her know that this is why the child was, this is why the things were happening with the child. So he's contacting Bonnie. And so she has this type of opening. So now they open the, the, the portal to the other side. And, you know, that would kind of like give Bonnie some relief. And she was kind of trying to figure out like these things about why, uh, um oh it could just be it could just be real juicy y'all it could be real juicy oh man i may have to i may have to do it like a a second video to this but if you like the way that's going because it's real it could be real structured and i know this is kind of like it's a lot of things going on but yeah i think it could work it's a lot of ideas all right, so this is a, a very special video because I am going to share some ideas that I had for a, like, listen, I was trying to think of a great way to incorporate some of the Vampire Diary, um, you know, ideas into, like, a, a web series because, you know, the Vampire Diaries isn't, it hasn't been, it hasn't been filming, but okay. Let's start with some of... I'm just going to incorporate some of my ideas that I had for this web series that I was going to create. But because I don't have a lot of, uh, like, subscribers at the moment, I can just go ahead and share this. And, um, of course, since it's Halloween, it would be the perfect topic. 
so something that I was thinking about, um, of course, it would have a name like the Twin Flame Diaries. <laughs> but um, I was thinking about ways that the Vampire Diaries could uh, come back and have like a strong impact. And of course, when I do have these ideas, I always like that would be like you know, when they say dream, dream big, it would be a big dream to be a part of the Vampire Diaries, but because it's no longer, you know, it hasn't been filming, um, I was thinking about ways that it could start again. And so these were some of the ideas that I came up with. Say if Bonnie had a, a brother that she didn't know, uh, you know, her mom had like, a. A miscarriage or something and or or like a, a, a stillbirth or something some type of um witchy thing that was done right and say that how this this uh like reboot of the show could also in incorporate bo reboots of legacies and originals like for example this is how we could it could like tie the it could tie the other shows into it if the cousin and just was we'll say for example if i was the cousin of the show and or not the cousin the brother the brother um of course of course if the if the child you know didn't make it you know and then Bonnie was born she thinks that she's the only child and let's say that her mom didn't tell her and so because um there was just something that it was kind of like she made some type of deal and now this child the child had to like pay the price so the child is actually like the son of the son of like uh of of Cain wasn't that the wasn't that uh what they were the I think it was Cain that was considered like Lucifer like the underworld and stuff like that but anyway and let's just say that on this other side, this is where Catherine and uh, Stefan were. They they got sent to they got sent to hell. But let's just say that they didn't they didn't die, and let's say that this brother sees them and like he controls this world, and he starts to contact his sister Bonnie, but she doesn't understand that you know this brother is contacting her she doesn't understand what's going on and i don't know uh, like well i do know like okay this is how the other shows could be tied in if elena and damon's daughter is their child let's say that you know it caused some type of rip in the the universe's plan for Stefan and Elena to you know be together because they're they're meant to be together in every lifetime so because they changed this idea of them being together and now Elena and um Damon have a child let's say that there's some type of curse on the child because they they went against the universe's plan of Elena and Stefan. And so now this brother that Bonnie has is having this, uh, he's sending her messages about why, why this child is um, having um, this difficulty existing. And so, you know, let's say that the child has to become a vampire and this is going to like spark it because uh, or or there's there has to be let's say that there has to be some type of deal that is made to the other like on the other side 
before the child is brought back into like let's say that the child like um goes to the other side like flat lines and then she meets Bonnie's brother so she has like a uh you know flat lines and then comes back to comes back to life and she has a message for Bonnie and let's just say that the child only has like a day before this can all happen and so um the child actually starts um you know having the connection with Bonnie's brother and they find out that all of these people that are on the other side can now come back but the brother has a the brother is like doing this so he can come and have this human experience that he hasn't had before and think about the brother being older than Bonnie or let's just say if they if, if Bonnie has a twin if Bonnie is you know this is Bonnie's twin if I was Bonnie's twin and Bonnie doesn't realize that you know she has a twin so when the twin is having this experience for the first time of human experience you know I don't know it could just be something like really unique but with the with the brother coming from the other side because they're they're actually making a deal with the brother so the brother and like the brother is kind of like manipulating them to thinking that they have to this is the only way that they can save uh Elena and Damon's child and let's just say that Damon has to Damon decides to take uh Bonnie's brother's place in hell because he's coming from he's coming from hell to have this human experience and so they all and and what he tells them is that uh Stefan and Elena because they aren't together they have to have like there's something that is happening so that they have to be together and they have to raise this child. And because the child has never met her uncle, Stefan, oh, that would just cause like a, who? And let's just say, oh, to, to make it even more spicier, Catherine comes back as well as Stefan. And somehow Damon is the only person trapped on the other side. And he thought that he had like, you know, he thought that he was like done with all of the things that he's done in the past, but now he's facing all of these things. So that is just like another, another whirlwind of things. And because, um, Bonnie or, um, Kat Graham has spoken about not really wanting to, you know, she doesn't care if the, the show like reboots or whatever, like she wouldn't want to do it it would be great for her you know to have like a a family member to lean on that is uh like she's connected to and let's say that she's like teaching she thinks that she's teaching him everything that he needs to know but let's say that he's been following her through this through this uh, journey the whole time and she just had no idea that she had a uh, sibling now I had some ideas about how it can make it really interesting now okay yes all of these characters that have been ha that have gone to the other side can now come back with Bonnie's brother on the condition of they they have to they have to make sure that he that the brother doesn't um the brother can't go back to the other side. Like, he can't die. But they don't know that, like, he can't die. Let's just say that the brother is somewhat like a phoenix. And every time that he's, like, he dies and rebirths, when he when he's dead, he talks to all of the the witches from, like, that, you know, that have passed on to the other side. But let's say that those like those witches cannot come come back. 
but right now we're just focusing on all the characters that have passed over that, you know, um, like, um, Stefan's friend, oh, I forget, uh, Lexi, um, uh, just all of the characters that, that are like main characters that we would like to see, see back, uh, Klaus could come back. And so this would actually be really good for characters like Hope and Hope's mom could come back. Tyler was, didn't Tyler? Yeah, Tyler could come back. Just think about all of these characters that have passed on. But I think what would really, what would really mix it up is that if Catherine came back, because now not only is, you know, Elena's a mom, but she's trying to figure out how she's going to, um, you know, keep her daughter, um, you know, on the living side and keep her safe from Catherine, who also is in love with Stefan, but Stefan is you know, there to Stefan and Elena have this uh psychic thing that's going on, but because Catherine is also like, you know, Elena's doppelganger, it is also like her having these dreams that are connecting all three of them because it's like the universe's way of restoring the balance of Elena having a child with Damon, although she is meant to be with Stefan. And yeah, so that's just a lot all there. And then, you know, um, Bonnie has Enzo coming back. She also has a brother that she didn't know about. And that kind of like brings up, you know, the things of like, her and her mom, you know, creating a bind. And so it's all about all of the characters, like, coming back from the other side. And, like, everybody creating this bind, but having this deeper uh, experience that's going on. And so maybe the brother could have some type of ulterior motive so that he can stay on the living side and them trying to figure out how they're going to get Damon from the the other side and let's just say that every time the brother the brother is um every time the brother is kind of like killed in some type of way let's say that he just goes to visit the other side and he's like he's able to talk to his ancestors and talk to you know people on the other side and he has this incredible power because he he has experienced he has experienced death and he's come back and every time he comes back let's just say that um he just uh he's stronger and also because he helped other people that you know were on the other side get back to the living they have this connection to him that they can't let him die. So that kind of creates them having to save him every time there is somebody that's wanting to, you know, um, come back or whatever. That could also create some type of way of, of because now with Elena trying to figure out how she's going to protect her daughter from not only like, um, flatlining but also from Catherine and balancing how you know this new relationship that she has with Stefan reigniting is kind of weird you know especially with her having a child and let's just say that she realizes that she might have to become a vampire again and so let's just say that's the that's the big part of it I don't know. It could be something, you know, really big. But, you know, you also have Klaus that has come back. So that's a thing. And it's a lot of things that could happen with the, with the, with the reboot. But because that could all happen, that could also bring back legacies. Because now with 
you know, let's just say if, um, uh, with these characters coming back, it could open up like spaces for them trying to figure out how, where they're going to live and, you know, and things like that because the Salvatore house is now school and, um, yeah, it could just open up different opportunities to do different things. But that's just like, you know, the opening to it. Because you also have to think that Legacies is also like a, it's like a a school that has these, Legacies was like a show that was, um, all the mystical creatures were, you know, being seen within that series. And then the Vampire Diaries was more structured around um, more of just vampires, werewolves, hybrids, uh, witches, tribrids, and stuff like that. Well, Hope was a tribrid. And let's just say the brother is like, let's just say uh, Bonnie doesn't realize that her brother is more powerful than her. So she's trying to teach him, but she doesn't realize that he is like, he is like the same, it's kind of like Cain was. Like he's like a super, a super tribe but she doesn't realize that these these are the gifts that he has. Wow. What if what if he uh what if he casted a spell on his sister to create them as like these powerful like twin beings? And here's the thing, with Bonnie, Bonnie could Bonnie could be a witch that be wearing them 30 inch bust down like long, long hair down to her butt because y'all been seeing her on Instagram. She's been looking good. Um, Cat Graham has been looking good. <laughs> you know, Caroline has the, Caroline is in charge of the school and Rick would be back and that would be a different dynamic then and Oh, let's say because the the brother could bring back the let's just say the brother just starts saying, "Yeah, I can bring back, I can bring back your, back your mother." He says that to the twins, um, you know, to Caroline's twins, and he brings back um, Rick's wife. That would just be a lot of drama. It could just be filled with a lot of things that could happen with a reboot series. Come on, like, that, y'all can't say that that just wouldn't be a lot. That would be a lot. I could see it now, like, with all the kids and all of these people that have come back. And because, because they have come back from the other side, they would have to find a way for them to be at the school so that it wouldn't look suspicious to the people of mystic falls that have you know been there for a while caroline's mom coming back from the other side because let's just say that her brother is just like this person that's just very powerful that has that much power that can bring people back from the dead like the brother could be some type of wish fulfilling type of deity energy like being that you know it's kind of like what he's doing is like too good to be true but they realize that um if because they they realize that he's kind of like taking over but they can't kill the brother because the brother is linked to all of the beings that he's brought back from the other side and let's say that um You know, because when people, if people were to, and this, we're reflecting to like a real life experience. If people could bring somebody back that they have lost, that is a loved one, right? Somebody that they really love. And to think about having to go through the, the, the idea of losing them again, 
would kind of be insane. So they're not wanting to let that go. They're not wanting to let them go. Because it would be like everybody coming back. Uh, what What's her name that would... Uh, the uh the girl that um Matt's sister Matt's sister could come back Matt's wife or fiance oh my goodness it could just be so much it could be so much that could happen to alleviate the idea of anybody even worrying about we got to find something for Damon. We got to find something for Damon because I think it would just be like um, with Damon being on the other side some type of way. And the only reason that I say like Damon would be on the other side is because, you know, he could be like the, the, the he took the place of Bonnie's brother. But because, uh, you know, the only reason that I say that is like, so that it could not be this tension on set with uh, Nina and Ian. Because I'm sure that although they are in this place of being able to work together, I think that because if they were or were not exes, it's just weird to be around your ex and work with them. You know? Like, it is. Even though they're respectfully in you know, in in their own relationships, I think it just would be weird for them. And that's just my thought pattern. But, you know, what if, what if they could work together and it was just like, what if it was like, wow, like, if they could just all come back and, you know, and let's just say the, the universe is uh, bringing the, doppelgangers back together like with uh Stefan and Elena and Catherine let's just say that that Catherine you know you know Catherine and Stefan alone that's just weird but oh what if Lexi's boyfriend Lexi's boyfriend could come into the play because I remember when he used to play a uh, when he used to play a werewolf because he used to have his own show where he was a werewolf and that's how you know I'm starting to tell my age a little bit but um, he had a show where he used to play a werewolf but he's playing a vampire in the Vampire Diaries and just all of those people having to come back in the school let's just say that the school had a problem with you know um, housing that many people. It's a lot of things that could happen. But if we actually wanted it to happen, it could happen. It could definitely be a great idea. I'm starting to get tired now. And it's all, it's like 10 o'clock almost. It's 9.54. And so when I... If I were to rest, which I probably am, I could turn on the lights and let y'all see. And that's just going to be so pretty. So beautiful. So um, I'm just going to allow this to be what it is now. And if you like this idea, you can interact with this video by commenting, liking, or subscribing. And until we see each other again, I'm grateful to all of the viewers. And now it is November 1st. And the lights are on. It's so beautiful. <laughs>